Keir DeLay is an American actor best known for the character of astronaut David Bowman, whom he portrayed in the 1968 film 2001, A Space Odyssey, and in 1984's 2010, The Year We Make Contact. Other film roles include Bunny Lake is Missing and Black Christmas. Personal life, DeLay was born in Cleveland, Ohio, the son of Margaret and Robert DeLay. DeLay was raised in the Greenwich Village section of New York City where his parents ran a bookstore. He graduated from George School in Pennsylvania. After graduating from high school he attended both Rutgers University in New Jersey and San Francisco State University in San Francisco, California, before he decided to pursue acting. DeLay has been married four times. His first marriage was to stage and film actress Margot Bennett from 1960 until their divorce in 1968. He was married from 1969 to 1970 to Susan Lessons. In 1972, DeLay married a third time to Susie Fuller, who had two daughters from a previous relationship. The couple had met during the London run of Butterflies Are Free. After their wedding, DeLay, Fuller and her children lived in London for several years. She died in 1998 after 26 years of marriage. In 1999, DeLay married actress Mia Dillon. They divide their time between an apartment in Manhattan and a house in Connecticut. Career Early career DeLay made his film debut in 1961's Hoodlum Priest, in which he played a juvenile delinquent. Though he had had an earlier role as the German pilot in a 1960 television adaptation of Mrs. Miniver starring Maureen O'Hara. In 1962, he starred with Janet Margolin in David and Lisa, a film based on the book by Theodore Isaac Rubin, M.D., a psychiatrist who treated the two mentally ill adolescents portrayed in the film. He played a number of emotionally disturbed youths in films such as the first screen adaptation of James Jones' The Thin Red Line, and Bunny Lake is Missing, which co-starred DeLay with Laurence Olivier, Carol Lindley, and Noel Coward. Although they shared no scenes together in the film, when Coward initially met DeLay on the set, he uttered the often quoted line, Kid DeLay. Gone Tomorrow, DeLay also appeared on television in shows such as Naked City, a police drama about New York City, The Eleventh Hour, a medical drama about psychiatry, and Channing, a drama about life on a college campus starring Jason Evers and Henry Jones. In 1965, he guest starred as Lieutenant Kurt Muller in episode 20, Tahania, with love, of 12 o'clock high. He appeared with John Huston in the movie De Chardé, playing the title role. He also appeared with Anne Haywood and Sandy Dennis in the 1967 film The Fox. In 1968 he appeared as astronaut David Bowman in Stanley Kubrick's film 2001, A Space Odyssey, which became a box office success and was eventually recognized by critics, filmmakers and audiences as one of the greatest and most influential films ever made. His line, Open the pod bay doors please, Hal, is number 78 on the American Film Institute's list of 100 movie quotes. Later career since the great success of 2001, DeLay has had difficulty reproducing a similar success on film. Although he was a regular vocal performer on CBS Radio Mystery Theater, which ran from 1974 to 1982. Dully's other notable roles include Devon in the short-lived 1973 science fiction series The Star Lost, Clayton Anderson Jr. in Madam X, Paul Renfield in The Fox, and Thomas Grambell in Brave New World. He had a major role in the Canadian production, 1974 cult classic Black Christmas. He also appeared as a regular cast member in the Canadian adult soap opera Loving Friends and Perfect Couples, which ran in 1983. In 1984, he reprised his role as David Bowman in 2010. The Year We Make Contact, Peter Hyams a sequel to 2001. 2010 was nominated for five Academy Awards. In 2000, he appeared in the Audrey Hepburn story as Hepburn's father Joseph. 
In 2006, he had a role as a U.S. senator and a major influence and mentor to Matt Damon's character in Robert De Niro's film The Good Shepherd. Stage delay has also had a long and successful career on stage in New York City and in regional theaters. He has stated that, despite being more recognized for his film work, he prefers the stage. His first Broadway appearance was in 1967 in Ira Levin's Drive, Cook's Garden with Burr Lives. Two years later he starred in the 1969 hit Broadway comedy, Butterflies Are Free alongside Eileen Heckett and Bly Danner. The play detailed a blind youth's desire to break free from his overprotective mother and pursue love with a free-spirited girl. In the play, he introduced the title song written by Stephen Schwartz. In 1974, he played Brick in the Tennessee Williams classic Hat on a Hot Tin Roof opposite Elizabeth Ashley. The production featured the now definitive rewrite of the play. He also starred in the 1975 Broadway play, S. Your Cat is Dead. In 1982, DeLay starred in an off-Broadway production of A. Hotchner's Sweet Prince, under the direction of his wife, Susie Fuller. The following year, the couple co-founded the Theatre Artists Workshop of Westport. In July 1984, DeLay was guest artist aboard the ocean liner Queen Elizabeth II. On July 11, he performed Anton Chekhov's one-act play, The Harmfulness of Tobacco, in the QE2 Theatre. In December 2004, for their annual birthday celebration to The Master, the Noel Coward Society invited DeLay as the guest celebrity to lay flowers in front of Coward's statue at New York's Gershwin Theatre thereby commemorating the 105th birthday of Sonol. Around the same time, Sony Home Video released Bunny Lake is Missing for the first time on DVD. In April 2010, DeLay performed the role of Tom Garrison in the off-Broadway production of the Robert Anderson play, I Never Sang for My Father co-starring Oscar-nominated actress Marsha Mason and film and stage actor Matt Servitor. In October 2012, DeLay performed the role of Heinrich Mann in the Guthrie Theatre production of Tales from Hollywood by Christopher Hampton. During August and September 2013, Kid Delay starred as Big Daddy in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, playing opposite wife Mia Dillon in a joint production for Wellfleet Harbor Actors Theatre and Provincetown, Tennessee Williams Theatre Festival. Filmography Film Television Awards and Nominations after Awards 1964, nominated Most Promising Newcomer to Leading Film Roles, David and Lisa, Golden Globe Awards 1964, won Most Promising Male Newcomer, Laurel Awards 1963, nominated Top New Male Personality, San Francisco International Film Festival 1962, won Best Actor, David and Lisa, 